So if you want to buy a Ducati, you're going to have to go to an Audi dealership. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. So this quick video is all about uh, Italian motorcycle giant that is a Ducati. They had a very, very good 2022 with a, a billion uh, pounds in sales and over 60,000 motorcycles uh, sold around the world. So all good for Ducati. However, uh, their parent company, as we know, is uh, Audi, who are owned by Volkswagen. It's all very confusing. But Audi and Ducati have already opened up joint dealerships. In other words, you can go in and buy your Audi and right next door or just through a partition wall or just peer through some faux greenery, uh, you can also buy a Ducati. Uh, and the two brands work well with each other. In fact, they work well on a technological point of view as well as they share a lot of the same R&D facilities as well. And that's probably why Ducati are doing so well in motorcycle racing at the moment. Now, right now, there are about 20 joint dealerships around the world and what they're planning to do is up this to 100 and some are coming to Europe let's say in the UK but some will go to the United States Canada wherever so wherever there's a market for the sale of Audis and Ducatis as well wherever they feel they can uh, make a quick buck or two then this is where you're likely to find this joint dealership so is this the first in the motorcycling world? Well, yes and no. BMW Group, they started off BMW Motorrad, the motorcycle division, in car dealerships. In fact, I can still remember the day where you could buy your BMW motorcycle. Um, it will only be one motorcycle uh, in a dealership full of cars. And now it's developed into motorcycle-only dealerships. Now, of course, there are independent dealerships out there across the world who, in one half of their dealership, they may sell one brand of uh, car. And then the other half of the dealership or in the building next door, they may sell another brand of motorcycle. This brand of motorcycle may be totally unrelated to the brand of car that they're selling. Now, Ducati CFO Henning Jens recently gave an interview and this is what he had to say. This is a synergy we see with the Audi group from the Ducati side. And we have a model growth plan and that includes, of course, an increase in the network. We think we can speed up this growth of the network with the support of the already existing Audi dealerships. We talk about different products, but we also see the cross-selling potential. When we talk about sporty cars, not any car, we talk about premium cars. Then we talk about sporty and premium bikes. Customers are sometimes the same. Many of our customers own a sporty car from our other sister brands and they also own motorbikes. So it's a very, very obvious potential we can tap into there. Whenever we enter into the market with a combined dealership, what we can see is that it definitely helps the market share. So we are very, very much looking forward to this cooperation. So there you have it. Ducati see it as a good deal. Audi see it as a good deal. They think that their respective customers will be interested in the other brand's products. So it's a win-win situation. And also Ducati, for their part, they've already got a wider dealership network to tap into. So we've heard that before. So there you go, Ducati are on the march. They are going to get bigger and bigger and certainly into more and more dealerships or certainly more places for you to go and buy a Ducati or an Audi or a Volkswagen or whatever. So there you go, it's all looking rosy or red for Ducati. Catch you again on another video coming very soon. Bye now.